Hi, I'm Liam Milan, and in this video, we're going to look at the more detailed look at arrangement and session view. So in Ableton Live, as you can see, I have um, various different uh, clips. Some of these are audio, so if I double click this, you can see that there's actually audio within uh, this clip, and some of these are MIDI. So some of these have, if I just expand the, the clip view there, we have notes which then drive an instrument to create the sounds as well. The key thing to notice with Arrangement View is we're working from left to right. So if I hit play, you'll see that um, as different information is in the layout, you have different parts of a song section. Okay, so that gives you an idea as to how the arrangement view works. I'm using the spacebar to start and stop commands here, and that works between arrangement view and session view in terms of stopping the global playback of your, um, your project. So arrangement view is great for that traditional having an introduction, having a main section, and just basically laying things out in a way that you know or you will experiment with in terms of making a song work or your ideas work for the listener. Now, if we look at the same information, but we move over to session view, you'll see how that differs. So I'm just going to use the session view and arrangement view buttons here on the top right. The tab key is the quick way of moving between those two different views. Um, you see it looks quite different. So what we have instead here is we have all of those ideas that were over in arrangement view all at the same time in one row. So I can either hit an individual play button per clip, um, or I can press the whole, what we call a scene, which is an entire row of ideas or clips, um, to play all of these things at once. So the key thing to think at this point is, do you want to work with an existing laid out musical idea, which is what Arrangement Views strength is um, and be able to visually see all the upcoming information as you sort of lay a, a song idea out? Or do you want to keep that flexible and do you want to work just at one song section at a time just by pressing play to one of these scenes? So session view is really useful for developing and experimenting with ideas because every row can be a completely different idea that you're working with. Um, and also keeping the arrangement fluid because you will manually move between each one of these rows by pressing the corresponding uh, launch button on the scene. Now, a really clever thing that can happen though, and this is my own preferred workflow, is to get all of your song sections, all of your short fill ideas, all these little one-time events that might happen in your song, and populate an entire collection of scenes. And then once you've done that, you can actually either drag these parts into arrangement view and work in that traditional linear way from left to right, or you can hit record and perform these sections in the order you want, and you have a much more real-time DJ-like vibe to what you're working with. So I'm gonna do that just quickly to show you how that works. So I'm gonna go to arrangement view. I'm gonna deliberately remove all of the information that's there. So I'm clicking into the actual uh, track area, then I'm gonna, gonna press Command and A, which will highlight everything and hit the backspace button just to remove that now. So the next thing I want to do is go to session view, and in this case, rather than having all the clips on at the beginning, I'm gonna press the stop all clips button here, and then I'm gonna manually start the, uh, the, the bits of the song I want to happen first, and then slowly build this up. So um, let's just do this as a, another scene. So I'm just going to copy a few of these bits across. So we have the beginnings of what could be a very simple two section song idea. Um, and then I'm gonna make sure that the start market in my other view, arrangement view, is at the beginning. And I can do that either by clicking manually or press double stop to set that back to its start position. And then when I'm ready in session view, I can hit record and hit play to either a single clip or to an entire scene.
So if I press space just to stop the entire playback of uh, Ableton Live there, as you have seen while that was recording, is the parts are now in arrangement view as if I've manually gone and dragged them in there or I've started the project in that view. And now I can press the back to arrangement button here, which will turn off the playback from the other window session view and allow me to work in a more traditional way within Ableton Live. So the key uh, relationship between these two places it's, it's slightly murky in terms of the clarity between why you'd use one over the other at times. The suggested workflow I've given you, I would say, is the best way to get into Ableton Live. Work in a loop fashion in session view until you think you have enough strong components as the basis of a song idea. And then if it feels more natural for you with previous experience or whether you just prefer this idea of seeing your whole song layout, then move yourself over into arrangement view to work further on it. So in this video, what we've done is we've looked at the differences of arrangement view and session view and their relative workflows and why you might reach for one at one point in the composition process versus the other.